Alright guys, welcome back to You Can Run Like a Krogan and Fight Like a Leopard. But you'd never be better than Commander Shepard, but that's not, actually not really the order of things, it's actually something else. Uh, anyways, we're back and um, we are completing the game uh, by putting our fuel to one half capacity. Okay, so. Buy, we'll fucking buy fuel. Uh, do these credits go with us the next game? That's a real question. Alright, well, all the way down here. Rescue the doctor. This is the very last thing we need to do ever. So. Alright, well, here we are. Like Mount Everest in an oven. So they call it a rival DLC. Alright, so. There's no teammates, but I was warned sort of about this that this would probably be a thing. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're good. We don't need teammates, honestly. What have they done for us? I don't think we should bring the cane, to be perfectly fair. Maybe we'll bring that particle beam. On, on, quite honestly, I had been holding on to the cane the entire game, and I only, I only ever used it one time. It was fucking awful. We'll use the, the particle beam. Like, I used it one time, and it did like, maybe 20% of the boss's damage, uh, the boss's health and damage. It sucked fucking ass. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. Alright. Power relay cut power. Actually, let's examine the door. Actually, we have, we have ammunition types to get. So, by the way, I did use the... Um, I don't want this. I, I did use the new uh, and improved... Um, Upgrade here. I guess you guys didn't see it since I cut it all out, but it's actually pretty good. Because what you can do, you can do this. I have the boost on. It's on cooldown, but it lasts like 75 seconds. I think it lasts 75 seconds. Something... Duration 60 seconds. Yeah, okay. So it lasts a minute. But I think it actually is more, because I think I get a bunch of shit that's tech duration. So... As I said, you just have this on. It's a 10% damage boost while you have your shields. Yep. We've been spotted. Fuck, that's not the weapon I want. I want fucking wheels of weapons and shit like that. Baron. The Batarians must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. Well, I'm talking to myself, but it's better than the fucking silence we normally get on these missions, so that's all good. Can we go down here? No. So I could just I could just recharge my shields and it like doubles the strength of the shields or something. It's ridiculous. Very nice. This place is run down. Even for a prison. Alright, well, didn't quite get to use my, uh, advanced shields. Get your hands off me! Oh, that, that was the easiest DLC of our lives. Gas valve activate. Uh oh. Yeah, everything's, do everything's very convenient here. All we do, all we get to do is fight Baron. Oh shit! I want nothing to do with you. All right, cool. Yeah, there could have been something that other way. Fuck, and now I gotta see so there's something that other way. Like, look at this place. I mean... Oh, 
All right, this went a long more time, that, a lot more time than I thought it would, so let's go back. We gotta explore all of this. We paid money for that. Actually, we didn't, but as far as you know, we paid money for this. Fuck. Why do we keep losing? I think I may have pressed it twice because I was trying to sprint. Alright, let's see what's over here. Heavy weapon ammo. Wow, I could have definitely used that a little bit before. Mother. Fuck the guy who told me to say this until the end. And also, you're a beautiful individual. Could have used that during the collector fight. Then I could have gotten two cane shots. Two of them. It's more than one. That's, that's definitely one way of dealing with your problems. Two cane shots. Which is what I was after the entire time. Alright, we're done with the, the cane meme. They still got it down in the prison. I just kill her. Interrogating a human's a waste of time. This game's such a pile of shit, honestly. Let's see, what, what happens if we stealth up to them? Do we actually want to kill them? That's the thing. Guys, look, I'm doing a pacifist run. Oh, maybe I'm not then. Right infiltrator is best class. Don't worry, we're getting credits back for all the fuel we spent getting here. It's all good. I mean, isn't that the guy who does the Batarian voice? But they're, they're humans that are prison guards. And also, wasn't he saying that they're very. Yeah, he was talking about Batarians. Fuck. I guess they kind of look like humans in some ways. I don't know, maybe. There's some resemblance there. Alright, well. This looks like a one way trip. And have a nice fall, etc. Oh, sorry, see you next fall. That's what, that's what the meme is. Alright, yeah, I guess we don't really want to go anywhere else. It's a bit weird. All right. No, I, I have to go back up. No. I missed 15,000 things of Viridium. I just heard people switching weapons. And, and I'm in the, I'm in the... They react to me when they're like doing this shit. I mean, there they are. I've lost visuals. Thank God this isn't a stealth game. There's a shuttle incoming. Clear the hangar bay. So why did I go on this mission alone? I'm just like story re reasons. Why is it a solo thing? I mean, I mean, for me. It would be because my my allies are shit. I don't give a fuck. But 
think the humans got it. If they did, they'd have swarmed in and put flags all over. Access is restricted. Enter authorization code. Oh man, I could be a crane operator now. Okay, I think it's not what we want. Hell. <laughs> what? Oh, we got the we got the box, guys. I actually don't- I really don't know what I'm doing. Unlocking secrets, I guess. Oh man, there's a PDA here and everything. This should come in handy. Mighty gel capacity. Well, I want to go down there. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. Don't worry guys, guest shield boost will save the day. Shields up. Soon. over here or nothing all right who are you what are you doing dr kenson i'm commander shepherd i'm here to get you out commander shepherd i'd heard you were alive hackett must have received my message we're looking at a major diplomatic incident at the Batarian to find out I was involved. This evidence had better be worth it. It is. The Reapers are coming. Diplomacy is the least of our worries. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Then we'll find them. Go! Ready. That's a doctor? What kind of fucking doctor is that? Because this fucking does. Whatever. I think she took the hypocritical oath. I mean, it could be a science doctor. Look, several kinds of doctors.
Oh, good. We have. We, we actually do have our teammate. Actually, what what ability does she have? She gets a pistol or pistol incinerate and overload. I mean, that's actually a pretty good combo. I mean, I wish I had her instead of fucking Morden. Sometimes. She also has like kinetic barriers and stuff. Would that not be the first thing you'd remove on a prisoner? Like, let's not give the prisoner shields, you know? Okay, I was not able to fire for some reason. There we go. Problem solved. How oh, good they have just ammo lying around. I mean, it's a defensive technology, but really, you know. What if you need to keep them in their place? You know, in the cell. Alright, well. Can we go through here? Oh, we can. They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us away out. Suppress the teams to cell block now. I excel at this shit. What the fuck is this guy doing? Oh god, they flanked me. I was making fun of them too, my bad. Alright, come on guys. Fuck! I'm not gonna bring my shields back up with that Geth shield boost. It's actually really nice. It doesn't raise your health though. The health comes back from the regeneration. We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. What door? Where do you want me to go? I mean, it seems like a pretty good place to hold hold in, you know. Get that door closed. All right, I guess we gotta go back this way. Ah, uh, you just do this. Okay. Coming up from below. Other side, go. Fuck, man. Do you look like I'm your own personal slave? There's an elite prison guard, XXX prison guard 420, guys. He's the best, the fucking asshole. He's the best of the best, guys. He's gonna go back here. I mean, he's elite, man. How, how can I fuck with that? Man, I wish Garrus were here. Watch the other side. What other side? What? We just closed that place. What? How do you know? She tells me impressive, and she's like staring at a computer. Where is it? There he is. Oh my god, it's another elite prison guard. How can I deal with these? Uh, 
Fuck. Whatever. Let's just, let's just wait for the shields to come back. Yeah, I'm a... Let's move. move to where? Oh, across the bridge? Of course. Kind of need some more ammo, though. Well, I mean, she seems to know the way forward. Am I not allowed up there? I guess not. I just need some ammo, man. Can you spare a spot of ammo? How can I be an ammo carrier without my ammo? Fuck. Alright, fine, we're going back. And we are now allowed to save. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old fashioned way. Leave that to me. Heads up! <laughs> I, it makes me so tanky having this shit though. It's so nice. Burn, Burn who? Like this shit is act actually borderline OP. Who the fuck was the person that told me to like use the fucking the the flashbangs? Fuck the flashbangs. We're playing combat now. Get to just randomly bring back her shields too. Oh okay, shit. Fuck you one, fucker. Deploying flammable. Deploying flammable. Oh man, another one. And he's a tough one. Yeah, we'll wait for the shields to regenerate. So this is my favorite part of shooter games, is just staring at walls. You really get an appreciation for those wall textures. And my other favorite part is when, uh... When people shoot through walls. Alright, this is kinda awkward. I don't, I don't know how this happened. Oh wait, he got his shields back. Fuck, that's not fair. I only get several abilities that do the same thing. Oh, what's over here? Oh wait, I was here already. I didn't even get, I didn't even make the connection. Nice. Oh, uh, let's shoot these things. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found some. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, They'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. 
From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too. But I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. How were you caught? We've been smuggling starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. So this entire scenario is the same one I did in Mass Effect 1, which is DLC there, which is Batarians trying to kill a colony for Earth, but that was like a terrorist thing or, or something, I don't know. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. What is a Reaper artifact doing on an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. How exactly does a Reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the Reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. The Reapers are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. If you're working near a Reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Can you hear your voice, Doctor? You coming home? Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. Right. I'll get everything set up for your arrival. Uh, Project Base out. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days in counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. 
That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Alright, I guess that's all the time we got for today, guys. Um, next time, uh, fucking Reapers, man. Actually, wait, shipping records? That's very important to me. 100 credits! Oh no, that's a, a little bit more than 100, but yeah. Some worthless shit around here. Alright, guys. See you guys next time. Goodbye.